this is Skip Fitch from Street Noise Customs, and this is the 2007 Porsche 997 Turbo. Okay, in this installation, we're using a Zapco. We're using their new Z156, which is 150 times 6 watts. Um, the amp is set up to do front, rear, and uh, subwoofer. Subwoofer is about six, 550 watts or so. And you can see we have a uh, trim panel that trims the amp out. Still maintaining most of the uh, trunk space in the car. So you can kind of see that perspective. So it's a nice clean factory look. Blends right in with the rest of the car. Another feature on the front is the um, radar sensors, which are right here in the front of the grille, kind of the center of the car. That's the laser shifters, and then the uh, radar system is in front of that. Okay, taking a look at the inside, the system has the uh, German Maestro uh, CS three-way speaker system, which is a six-inch woofer in the door, four-inch mid-range in the door, and then uh, a tweeter up in the top of the dash. Okay, as far as the head unit, we have the uh, Kenwood DNX9990HD um, with the iPod interface. Okay, in the rear of the car, we have a German Maestro CC4008 uh, mid-range in the rear side panel. And then behind the uh, rear seats, we have two Image Dynamics ID8s. And then we have a custom grille that covers that carpeted enclosure. Uh, one of the other features of this vehicle is the Escort 9500CI radar system with GPS. Um, it basically gives you XK, KA band, uh, and laser, or what some people refer to as LIDAR um, detection. Uh, the 9500 also has a diffuser on the front so that you can put it in the shifter mode, and that will deflect uh, a laser shot at the front of your car. Generally, they are they center those shots either at the license plate or one of the headlights. Um, I generally subscribe to the point you need to kind of put them towards the middle of the car because they're going to try to take a shot right at the center, um, and you have a better chance of deflecting them. The system will notify you of red light cameras and stuff via GPS. Also, you can mark speed traps in known locations. This is one of the best overall systems that you can purchase as far as uh, radar, laser and uh, radar detection. Uh, average cost on that is usually about $2,700 depending on the options. Um, and it usually takes about a day, day and a half to install uh, depending on the vehicle. Okay, here's the 9990. So, you know, it has the slide feature like that. So, you can slide the graphics kind of like you do on an iPod. So, it's actually kind of friendly in that respect. Um, this unit has Cirrus radio. Go to the iPod. It's very popular. It's got Bluetooth, Bluetooth hands free. So, that's the iPod interface right there. You can do navigation. It's a Garmin based navigation with the Ken one. Traffic maps. Like that. Um, in this kit, you have to use, in this particular vehicle, you have to use the most her interface from Nav TV. It's about six hundred and fifty dollars. Um, that allows you to communicate with the car's uh, speed outputs, accessory circuits, and maintain the steering wheel controls. 
Nav TV is the only current company that has a steering wheel control interface for this particular integrated module for this. All right, this is Skip Fitch from Street Noise Customs, and this is the 2007 Porsche Turbo. Give us a call today. Come on down. We're very experienced in working on this type of vehicle and can design you an amazing sound system.